Hey dolls, today we're starting off today's look with a well moisturized face and Mary Kay's pore minimizer. Now I'm going in with my foundation. I'm using two different shades, T10 and D10, because they have a different undertone to both, and I feel like both mixed together looks good on my skin. So now I'm going to use my Smashbox contour stick. We're just going to pat that in place and slightly go towards our nose with it. For the high points of my face, I'm going to go in with my Tarte concealer. And that is my P. Louise Blank Canvas Concealer, and I'm going to use that as the base to the whole droplet look. This video, I actually wanted to record the full process so you guys could see how everything added up. This is me just adding extra concealer just to make sure everything is fully covered. Now we're just setting the entire area with a translucent powder. 
Okay, so we got the Zulu palette for the orange and the yellow shades that's in there. The matte carroty palette for the blue and the greens. I couldn't open the palette. And then we got the 250 Coastal Scent palette. Um, it has other shades that I needed to blend my colors out. I just hit my face. <laughs> but yeah, that's, it's like three different layers to that. And it's different shades. Going in with pink, I'm starting on my eyebrow because I kind of want my eyebrow to give the cutoff effect. Let's go. Every color I apply is going to look dull at first because I just want to get a layout of the colors. And they, then later on, I'm going to go back through and pack on the colors and blend them out. I'm gonna be using the orange and the yellow shade from the Zulu palette. First is orange, and then my inner corner is gonna be the yellow. Also use my purple haze palette. It has a yellow, orange, and pink shade and purple shade in it. And I'm just gonna be adding that on top of whatever colors I've already added. Yo. On the edge of that pink shade, I'm gonna go with two purple shades, one from the Zulu palette and the other from the purple haze palette. I'm using the blue from the Carity palette and first we're going to map it out and then we're going to go back on top of it and make it more pigmented. Don't worry about the edges so much because you can always go back in with concealer and reshape it or add rhinestones on the ends. Like I always say, blending is the key. Make sure you go back into each shadow and blend it. If you need to add extra eyeshadow to it, add it. You know, make it more pigmented. Make it pop. Make it to your liking. Yo, let's go. Woo. Yo. Woo. Yo. Woo. Yo. Woo. Y'all, I was trying to watch Mission Impossible and do makeup at the same time, but I couldn't see it through the, you know, the mirror that I'm standing in front of, so I kind of got mad, so I kept turning around. But after I, you know, fixed the blue, I'm going in with the um, two green shades from the Carity palette. I just mixed them both together and applied it to the bottom. Not to toot my own horn or nothing like that, but my lock extensions look really good. Video coming soon, y'all. Okay, dolls, so this is the start to my cut crease. I go with the um, yellow, orange, pink, and I blend it all out, and then I'm gonna go in and cut my crease.
I'm gonna apply blue to my inner corner, green on my main lid part, and then yellow on the outer part. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but it's like a slightly lighter spot right there. But it just ended up giving me like a, a halo effect, I guess. So I just left it. I had applied powder just so the fallout wouldn't be as bad on my foundation. So we're just gonna dust that off. Now we're gonna slightly do our eyebrows. Not that I really care about mine, but you know, you gotta make the look come together. I'm applying highlighter from my Revolution palette and I'm applying a little Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife. I also added highlighter to this whole spot because it needed something with some pizzazz or something, some rattle dazzle. I think this was the moment when I realized like the glitter wasn't giving what it's supposed to give and I'm just gonna do rhinestones. This is me applying my mascara. I apply two because to make my eyelashes pop. Okay, so I had already started applying rhinestones. Yes, you see Bubba's little hair in my my arms. Um, <laughs> I had already started applying rhinestones because I'm, yeah, it's gonna be fire or whatever. Oh, look at my little chunky man. Look at him. He trying to figure out what the fuck on my face. Look how he looking. Look at him. You don't like it? What? I'm really chubby self. But okay, back to, you know, our normal programming. But yeah so i'm just gonna apply eyelash glue it's clear eyelash glue and then i'm gonna get my little rubber thing to pick up rhinestones with and i'm gonna put it on my face i'm gonna come back when i'm on top I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. I'm placing the rhinestones not in a straight line because I want to add a little bit more razzle dazzle to the, you know, bedazzling head ass. Okay, so this side, I'm gonna do a zigzag line of rhinestones. Now I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner and do my eyelining and then it's kind of hard when you got a baby in your hands, but you know, I try. And this should be a non-judgmental place. So don't judge me. 
okay don't judge me i get a little wild i get a little weird but you on my channel if you don't want to be weird you don't want to get wild you're on the wrong channel Girl, we gonna apply them lashes with our fingers. We don't need no tools. I just put some black eyelash glue on there and I just stuck it on. Off camera, I applied the inner corner jewels to the um, drip part. And I don't know why I didn't set my face before I applied my lashes, but I guess... We're just gonna do a simple brown lip because the eyes is extra enough for everybody. Okay, so I attached three videos to the end because it's different lighting. One is with studio, the second with the lights off and just flash, and the third with regular sunlight. And I think in all three lightings, it looks pretty good. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, dolls.